Hey, welcome to Rock Painting Workshops. I'm glad you joined me. Today we're going to be painting this cute little bunny butt in a truck of carrots. So supplies, we have clean water, our paintbrush. I'll be using acrylic paint today as well as acrylic paint pens. So let's get started. Okay, so you can see the rock that I've got here. Um, just shaking up my acrylic paint but you can see the rock has got some blue on it and that's just a leak from the other side so it's completely dry you can see I painted a bird on the other side and I'm a double rock painter so I paint both sides of my rocks and so it's leaked over you'll see how well that's going to cover up soon I'm just going to go ahead with the design so I've got my acrylic paint here and I've mixed it up really well and it's the Americana paint by deco art and it's a really good one uh, for rock painting it's got a really lovely coverage so it's not looking all transparent it's got really good quality pigment in it and it's very opaque looking so I'm just going to and it doesn't matter how thick you would like the coverage the trick to doing this is just painting a thin layer letting it dry and then painting another layer if you're not happy with the color and obviously the the sort of the less quality the paint is the less amount of pigment it is because that's how you can get a like a less expensive paint is that it's just going to have less pigment in it and that's fine so you just got to sort of think about your budget where you're going to go with it and decide you know if you choose the paint with less pigment in it you might need lots of layers to get it nice and thick and white uh, versus you know pay an extra dollar or so and you can get it done in one to two layers so even though it's a little bit not even at the moment because I don't base coat so I'm just letting what needs to absorb into the rock absorb and just painting that thin layer and that color will pick up in the next in the second layer so I'll start on the tail and by the time you've gone down so I did the bunny I did the bunny tail and then his body and then the feet by the time I'd finished the feet the paint was dry enough for me to go back and do the second layer onto the onto the bunny so that's what I'm doing now and I'll decide when that's finished if that's going to be enough I'm pretty sure it will be it usually is So yeah, that's why I'm not really worried that that blue leaked over from the other side because um, you can see here that the white acrylic paint being opaque is just covering up straight over it. Okay, we'll let that dry. I'll decide if that's enough while I just go over to doing the colour and I'm going to do exactly the same, th same thing with my paint pens because they are acrylic paint really should shake that one up a little bit more you can see it came out quite thin it wasn't quite mixed up enough and that's the thing with acrylic paint or acrylic paint pens is that they have the pigment inside it as well as the binder so they have to be well mixed up so if it's coming out runny like that first little carrot did you just haven't uh, shaken up your pen enough so give it another few shakes and then you can jump back on board and color that in okay so I'll just get keep continuing on with the color I really think the the truck theme it's really cute I got it I saw it on Etsy when I was looking for Easter t-shirts and uh, deciding because I got a Cricut machine and I was sort of looking around for SVGs and deciding like what could I put on all the kids t-shirts and things like that and I saw this design so I thought oh yeah I'm gonna put something similar on a rock I'm going to use the grey, my grey Posca for the glass. Does it, using white is probably going to be too stark and black is just going to be obviously too dark. So using the grey just, I don't know, I like using the grey for windows, mirrors, things like that and I can easily shade with it as well. Okay, keep colouring around. Yeah, so I was thinking about the truck thing, it wouldn't have really suited you know doing it as a printout for one of my kids t-shirts I should say grandkids 
not kids, uh, t-shirts because like the truck thing isn't isn't really a thing in Australia. They wouldn't even know what a truck was. We don't have that, so yeah, it wasn't really suitable for a t-shirt, but I thought oh, so cute. Just got to do it on something. Rock it is. Okay, we'll do that. But oh, no, I wanted to use the lighter green on that. Okay, it doesn't matter. I've got a wet paint brush and I'm just putting that straight on top of that paint pen because it's not, I wanted to do the lighter teal colour, not the darker. So that's enough and I'll just go back to the colour that I wanted. There we go. That's it. And you'll see like off to the side, I've got Bert, my pet rock. And so at the moment I'm just leaning, I can lean the rock on him like this and so it just takes me to the angles that I need to go. Sometimes I lean my hand on it because I want my hand higher than the rock and sometimes he's annoying so I just tell him go away. But yeah I've had, had Bert since I nearly started painting rocks so he'll be two this year and he just um, does lots of things. I test all my pens on him as well. So usually before I start a session, I'll just pull the colours out and as I'm using each one, I'll shake it up and I'll just do a little scribble on Bert to make sure that the pen is in full functioning order. And like you saw before, like with the carrot, I just started using the orange and I hadn't checked if the orange was okay and it was a little bit runny. Well, normally because I've tested it on Bert, I already know that and I can fix it before I start painting onto the rock that I want to keep. Okay, so this darker, it's actually called emerald in Posca, but I think it's, to me it's dark teal. But um, yeah, I'll use that as my edging and my shading colour as well. Okay, that's one coat all over, and now we are on to two coats. Do you like how I just fast forwarded that for you? It's pretty boring, it's like we're watching paint dry. Okay, so we'll just, now we've got two dry coats. My paintbrush there you can see I dipped it in water and I normally wipe it on my microfiber cloth but I wanted you to see on my hand just how much water I took off that brush before I started using it. So I took all that excess water off and now I just dot the damp brush onto the nib of the pen and pick up some of the colour and I just start shading with that. Okay you can see there I just dabbed it onto the microfiber cloth that's at the top of my mat there and just dipping it in getting some shading and if you some people sort of get stuck and go oh, I don't know where to shade if the first point of thought process is just where there's a join okay so you see there the bumper bar is joining onto the tire so the bumper bar is going to throw a bit of shadow onto the tire so that will give me that hint where to put that shading. The carrots will throw some shading onto the back of the truck window. So I went there with the bunny. His feet are going to cast a bit of shadow back onto his body. And just sort of blend that around. And his tail will throw a bit of shadow onto the body as well. So it doesn't matter. There is, you know, a lot of people say there is wrong or right. I say no wrong or right. Just make it up as you go. Sometimes I just sort of swirl a paint around, decide where it's going to go, give it a bit of a smush and think, yep, that's right. But if you wanted to think of it from a logical point of view, always look where the two elements are touching. Like even on the carrots and they're up against the bunny. So I'll put some, you know, shading in on those carrots there because that's the join and that'll throw a shadow. Sometimes people have said, oh, but you know, I looked at such and such one of the rocks you painted and it's, um, you know, that's not the spot that you put it in. It's like, yeah, but sometimes I don't think about it. I just start shading. So I'm not telling you 100% of all my positions where I'm shading are correct it's just like my heart just goes oh you want a bit of color there and I, I put it there and just go with it I don't worry too much the thing is and you know I like putting a saying at the end of some of my videos I think it was uh, Pablo Picasso 
and he said like you got to know all the rules to know how to break them right so if you understand about shading like where it should go then it's really easy just to put it where you want it to go it's like you, your heart has an understanding what it wants to do so we'll just use some dark green there in the shadows actually I shouldn't say dark green because I think this one's just called regular green it's just green by Posca And I like using the, the Posca brand when I'm doing tutorials because it's got a quite a nice matte finish. So it doesn't get too shiny in the cameras and everything like that. It doesn't bounce light off it just yet. But there's tons of really cool brands you can use for acrylic paint. I really trialed and tested Posca and Tuli Art and Artistro. And I find them to be the better brands, you know, then yeah there's some really cheap stuff on the market so I've found a lot of people that are going cheap it's going to cost them like three times as much money in the end because they tend to go cheap and then they go don't like it they buy another cheap packet and yeah it's usually by the third go they're getting on to quite a good brand so yeah it does depend on your budget to how you're going to fit your art supplies in but when you can and I've got, I'll leave like in the comments below, um, I will just leave like links and different things to pen, the pens that I use and that I've tried and tested. On the website, we definitely have outcomes so you can see how we've used them and what results we were getting. Okay, and just keep, just keep shading around. I think a lot of people get really scared by this point because once you put the color on you start shading and then it gets to ugly and they're like oh no my rock looks so really ugly it's not working this is like normal painting even on a canvas you just get to this really ugly stage the trick is keep going you know once you add in all your different highlights and do different things it just changes the whole look of everything and so you can see here I'm just gonna go around the edges with my Posca pen and whoop see I just tested that see my pen is working here what's really hard is to get the camera view for you I have to hold the pen at not really a usable angle okay there's just a slight angle it likes to be at to be working perfectly and if I go too straight up and down with it it doesn't want to flow so you got to try and find that that groove but as well it would have been better to test the pen on Bert to make sure that there's no blocks or anything like that because especially at this stage we've done a lot of the hard work onto the rock already and if it was about to leak and you're going to get black pen everywhere it's better that it's on a test rock like Bert than on the rock that you've just been creating for the last while all right just keep going around Put a bit of tire tread on the tires. Yeah, I was thinking about this one. I thought, oh, what can I tell the kids? Like, oh, it's a truck. And to them, a truck is like a huge, like, semi truck. You know, you see on the highway, it's delivering goods to the next town or something. Oh, now I've gone off the edge. That's all right. Keep talking. I'll fix it later. So I'll leave that there and I'll show you what to do when it dries. Yeah, so I was thinking, oh, like, how do I explain truck? And it's like, no, they're not going to understand this. And then I realized, like, what we do in Australia, we call it a ute. And I think New Zealand as well. So I think Australia and New Zealand, we call it a ute. But it's more of a car type. Um, well, ute's short for utility. So it has, like, a little bit of a tray back. But it's more car size, not the bigger truck size. Yeah, too confusing. I went, kids aren't going to know. I'm just going to get them something with an Easter egg on it or something. I've got a couple for the older kids uh, to wear to church. So they've got some with uh, the cross on it and everything. So we've got a really good mix for the kids to wear for Easter. Well, hopefully I'll have that finished in time for Easter because I've bought the designs, got it already. I have most of the t-shirts so I've just got to hook up the Cricut machine and get printing and you know ironing all the transfers on t-shirts okay. and of course in between there paint about another 20 Easter rocks as well 
It's going to be fun because like most of the kids uh, in the family, they're dairy free or my little grandson is just hyperactive crazy. So he's not even dairy free, but we just decided let's make him dairy free. No egg, no chocolate Easter eggs for you. But we do big rock hunts and we've, we've made Easter our craft day. So we get all the kids together and we have some really nice treats and everything but we have lots and lots of craft activities and we settle that up on little tables for all the kids big kids and little kids and um, we just set about to create everything and we have like a really nice easter egg hunt where we put the rocks out and we have like uh, little gold coins not chocolate ones they're just little you just find them at the two dollar shop they're like little token things so the kids like to collect them to count how many how many that they won and they think that's fantastic and yeah so we might like say who's got the most amount of tokens and then they might like choose a sticker sheet or something for their craft so we do more that we have a great time okay here I'm just like I put extra in the corners see when I'm coming into the corner and I just go a little bit thicker and it just takes that shadow in see I paint that corner across like that I do that on a lot of joins to make them darker and just sort of make it look like there's just a little bit more shadow hanging around in those areas. Just helps to find a little bit more. You don't have to do it. This is just something that I, you're going to see me doing a lot of rocks. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at that. Just always put your rock back, have a look at it, see what you've missed. You can also um, pick up and thing, see things you might want to add. And here I'm going to take go over that black line that I didn't like and you'll see how I just left that so I left it to completely dry okay and because it was completely dry I can pop my pen on that and quickly cover it up okay, if you put it on wet obviously it's going to bleed out so that you don't want that now I'm just putting in some of the highlights little dots and dashes represent uh, represent representing where the lights gonna bounce off the carrots and truck and everything okay a little bit on the glass all right and here this is what I call the sticker glow okay if you have a look at like stickers that you buy from the shop you'll see like they have an edge around them so we call them sticker glow i didn't even know if that's a thing or if we made it up so i don't know but i'm just putting that color and going around the edges and this is something if you're not too sure of the color because it's sort of like you're looking at it and you're thinking but hang on she hasn't got any of that pink in you know in there like you might have chosen orange and you can do that you can make it work how i choose to do it is i pick up what the complementary color is so you can grab a color wheel and you'll know in my classes I teach how to do that in uh, the full-time rock painting course that we do and it's the comp it's the opposite color on the color wheel okay so the opposite to that greeny teal color I came up with and had a look around and I got this sort of magenta pinky color so I've got the links for that course down below as well so I charge ten dollars for it but a hundred percent of the proceeds go to charity so I hope you jump on and join us there as well. That's it. See you on Facebook, guys. Have a great day.